Hello everyone and welcome to my latest video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can repurpose your LinkedIn Live live stream. So I've just gone live using Restream.io into LinkedIn. And as it stands as of October 2020, you can't download your live straight from inside of LinkedIn. So by actually live streaming using Restream, I'm able to go into my Restream software and actually download my LinkedIn Live video and repurpose it across to multiple channels. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download it from inside your Restream software and actually edit it ready to upload to my Instagram TV. So before I do that, a little bit about me. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital visibility strategist and tech enabler. So I help you to understand how to use the tools at your fingertips in order for you to get the visibility you and your business deserves. So the first place we need to go is into your Restream software where we can download your video and your audio to your own computer to then go off and repurpose across multiple different channels. Okay, so this is where I've just gone live from. I actually went live inside the Restream Live Studio and I did stream across to various different channels, including YouTube and Facebook. But as it stands, we're not able to live stream into Instagram. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my Restream, download my live video and show you how you can repurpose it into Instagram TV. Okay, so... Inside of Restream, we've just finished our live on LinkedIn and I want to take it into Instagram TV to share it with my fans on Instagram. So you just have to come over to this left hand side and click these three little dots. This is going to open up a further menu and you're going to go to the recordings tab. So this is going to bring up the date that you actually did your live stream. And over here on the right, you can have a download your audio. So if you wanted to actually repurpose this video as a podcast, you could download the audio on its own. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how you can download your recording, including the audio, so that you can take it away and repurpose it onto Instagram TV. So go ahead and click the download button and it's going to save it into your own computer. Now that's going to save your live stream that you've just done onto LinkedIn into your own computer. Then all you have to do then is go off and reformat it to fit into the Instagram TV specs. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Now you can just actually upload a horizontal video straight into Instagram TV, but for it to fit perfectly and to fit in line with the format of Instagram TV, it's best to put it into a third party software. So you could go ahead and put it into a video editor and then upload it into Instagram TV. Okay, so once you've downloaded the video from your Restream to your own computer, you have a number of choices. You can go ahead and upload your video straight into Instagram TV and Instagram will let you do that. However, because the video that you've just downloaded from Restream is a horizontal video, it's always good to reformat it to fit the size of the social media platform that you're putting it on. So with Instagram, it prefers it to be a portrait format. So you can go ahead and reformat the video using a number of different softwares. For this purpose, I'm gonna just quickly jump into my Camtasia and reformat it into an Instagram TV format. Okay, I'm inside my Camtasia. So all you need to do is import the video that we've just downloaded from Restream. So I'm gonna grab that, upload that into Camtasia. Now, once it's in Camtasia, all you have to do is drag it over to the window where you can edit. And then what we have to do is we have to change the video format to fit Instagram TV. So we go to edit, project settings, and then we want to choose Instagram TV. So as you can see, we've got Instagram, which is a square, but we actually want it to be a portrait. So we're going to go ahead and choose iPhone XS, which is actually the format that we would need to use for Instagram TV. So go ahead and grab that and then click apply. So that's going to actually make it portrait. So all we need to do now is we have to actually take our video our horizontal video and we have to drag it to fit the space that we want to have it in. And then what we want to do is we want to make this smaller so we can see what we're working with. And as you can see, the view 
that we're going to be doing in is this portrait position. So we wanna make it into the center. And then you can leave it like that completely. Or if you want to, you can change the background to suit your needs. But I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then all you have to do, if you don't want the introductory countdown, you can just go ahead and slide through to the end of the countdown. So we know the countdown ended and maybe just have it as three, two, one. So we just make it so that it's on three and then we're gonna trim that. And we're going to get rid of the bit at the beginning. And then all we need to do is take it back to the beginning drag it over. So now our video is going to start on the three second countdown. And all we need to do then is export it as an MP4 file, save it to your file. Okay, so while that's saving, all you need to do now is to jump over to Instagram and upload your repurposed video that you downloaded from Restream, you edited in your editing software, and you're going to upload it into Instagram TV. So once it's downloaded, I'm gonna show you how to upload it onto Instagram TV. Okay, so my video has downloaded from my video creator. So I'm gonna show you how to upload it into Instagram. So you can upload the video that you've just downloaded from Restream to Instagram TV by going to your Instagram account on the dashboard inside your computer, or you can actually go to it on your mobile phone and click the Instagram TV option. Now on your dashboard inside your laptop or your computer, you can go ahead and click upload. This will enable you to upload that video that you've just downloaded from Restream directly into your Instagram TV. So we're just gonna go ahead and click the plus button and grab the new formatted Restream video that we've just streamed live to our LinkedIn. And we're gonna go ahead and open. So this is gonna upload into our Instagram TV. If you want a new cover for your Instagram TV, you can go ahead and create one in a photo editing tool, or you can move your play toggle along the bottom and just grab a screenshot of your actual video whilst it's uploading. Then what you can do is you click edit here and you can grab that screenshot from your computer and then upload it to your Instagram TV. That will just give you that thumbnail picture that you can actually share inside your Instagram feed if you wanted to. Now you want to put a title. So you want the title to match the video that you had on LinkedIn already. So we already have our information here and you can also get that information from inside your Restream account because you've already got it from where you were live in your studio. Go over to your Instagram TV and paste that title in there. Then you can grab the description of your LinkedIn Live that you just downloaded from your Restream account. So you can grab that and pop that over into your Instagram TV in the description. Once you've pasted the description into your Instagram TV, you can go ahead and change the links so that they match your YouTube and any other links that you've got in there. Don't forget that inside Instagram TV, the links are clickable, even though it is inside Instagram. Now also here, it says, do you want to post a preview that will appear in your feed? So you can go ahead and do that if you like. Once you've got your hashtags, you can place those into your video as well. And then all you have to do is go ahead and click post. Now this is actually gonna post a preview of the video that I've just downloaded from my Restream account after I've gone live on LinkedIn Live to my Instagram TV. So we're just gonna let that do its business. Once it's finished uploading, I'll show you the video inside of Instagram so you can check out how easy it is to go live using Restream to your LinkedIn Live and then grab the video from inside your Restream account and then place it into Instagram TV, therefore repurposing your LinkedIn Live all the way over to Instagram TV with a click of a few buttons. Okay, and as you can see, there's the video that I've just uploaded via my Restream account. So there it is there waiting to be watched. So just to go over the process again, I went live inside of Restream to my LinkedIn account. I then went back to Restream, downloaded the video from inside the Restream server. So that's by going to the three little dots and clicking recordings. 
I then took it into my video editing software and then I then added it to my Instagram TV. So this was just a little overview of how you can repurpose your LinkedIn Lives to Instagram TV. So with Restream, you can go live to multiple platforms, including LinkedIn Live, YouTube, Facebook business pages and Facebook groups and your profile. But it's quite difficult to go live into Instagram at the moment. So this is a really good way of utilizing your live streaming software by going live to your chosen platforms and then bringing the live video that you've already done out of Restream via their recording area to your own video editing tool where you can reformat it to fit the social media platform that you're taking it to and then upload it to that chosen social media platform where you didn't originally go live. So my name is Anita Wong. If you have any questions about using Restream to live stream to LinkedIn or any other platform, please don't hesitate to pop your questions under this video. And if you haven't tried Restream before, I've popped a link underneath this video, which will enable you to try it out for free. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos on live streaming and repurposing your live streams across different social media platforms. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.